Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, another entry here based on one of your newer suggestions. This one I originally picked because I thought it was going to be another of one of my beloved lumberjack tales because of how kooky and zany this thing is upon looking at it and then seeing all the information tied to it. But, going into it in more detail, it seems like in actuality this is not a lumberjack tale. Like This is a real thing, even down to last decade or so of people encountering this cryptid. It is by far one of the most bizarre ones yet because of the idea of it being a mix-up of two animals that are unlike anything crossing each other. You could not have taken two of the most polar opposite animals and somehow come across this. And what I'm talking about is this creature. You're looking at it right now. Doesn't it stand out already? It has a very unique name too. It's a portmanteau, it looks like. It's called the Cooney Gator, which is a cryptid that is somewhere in the Vermont area, specifically near Mount Pelier. So, very interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and let's share all the information tied to this unique and bizarre, almost like another dimension like creature. So, what is this cryptid, this Cooney Gator? Well, again, you would have to go to a location, Mount Pelier, there in Vermont, and it's a creature that's known to uh, be within those woodlands. And the way it looks like is just just like it sounds when it comes to its mishmash of two names. You take a raccoon, you take an alligator, mix them together, and this is what you come across. In this case, though, it seems like the raccoon makes up the face or parts of the body, at least with the fur, and then the alligator makes up the rest of the majority of its body in terms of its size, in terms of its scales, uh, I guess you could call it in terms of those dorsal fins, whatever those thing is that the, the alligators have on the top of their body, and then they have their short legs also. But um, the only other difference though on the face, rather than this Cooney Gator having a small rounded face like most, uh, like Yarvis Raccoon has, no, in this case, it has the elongated snout with the full row of sharp, deadly teeth on it as well. Otherwise, if you were to take that snout away, um, you would look it would look like the average face of uh, a raccoon, because especially because of the dark bandit-like mask uh, that it has over its eyes. But yes, essentially, that's what it is. Even from a distance, if you were to look at this thing, from afar, you could either mistake it for an alligator if you're looking at its body, or you could mistake it for a raccoon if you're looking at it from its face, but let's say the mouth itself is going to be obscured by other foliage, then that's when you're looking and you're thinking, oh, I'm seeing a raccoon. But that is, in essence, what this creature is. And then as far as what it does and uh, the, the sightings surrounding it, uh, essentially it just lives its life out there in Mount Pelier. It's been known though apparently to do some kind of attacks uh, either by of course animal wildlife whatever else is out there that's how it preys that's its its most uh, common term of hunting but it has been known apparently to attack people no known instances though thankfully of let's say people getting killed by this creature other than the fact that people you know apparently state that they have bizarre almost terrifying encounters once they come across it because from their perspective they're just looking at it from afar they get closer they think it's a raccoon and then the rest of its body its giant body rises out from whatever it's hiding under and then of course they get the scare of their life because of that and they start running away but thankfully again no known type of strikes attacks anything like that outright for human beings but yes these these sightings have been coming on uh, uh, for the longest time ever since the last decade too so that's really really interesting to see a lot of times when we talk about these cryptids it's the idea that maybe they were sighted in the 60s or the 50s or maybe even the 90s but no in this case even up to the last 10 years to in the 2000s this creature has been known to go there and that's another thing I like too about uh, this information you know I love the notion that if you have a very very specific spot for a cryptid. Those of you that are in Vermont, especially near the Mount Pelier area, go to it and you might have a good opportunity of seeing 
this creature. Uh, you want to make sure though you got to be careful because of its habit of hunting and then also because of its attacks known to humankind. Um, other than that, the idea that you have a creature that somehow mated one with each other, either an alligator or in this case a raccoon, together it still seems very very far-fetched which is kind of true when you think about it because what would one do with the other it's rightfully so in thinking as the information especially on the cryptids website posted you would have an alligator not have much more sense than just eat the animal like it's not going to mate with a raccoon and vice versa it's just going to eat it outright so this has to be something else completely different some other I guess long lost unencountered undocumented type alligator that just by pure happen chance its look happens to look like uh, like the face of a raccoon who knows maybe it was just evolution Maybe it was just the environment it adapted to its surroundings. Whatever is the case, this I, that's what I uh, more likely believe, and it makes much more sense that this alligator uh, inhibited those traits. Maybe even has fur on it too, because that's another characteristic tie to it. Like it has this thick coat of grayish fur surrounding it. Um, either whatever the case is, it absolutely maybe just inhabited those traits, and then it has lived like that ever since, especially since alligators uh, I believe they live for a long time is that right like several decades close to a hundred years or so it's kind of hard to document them because you know who's gonna try to track an alligator or a crocodile out in the wild for the lifetime but since it's very first birth up until its death decades and decades later but still they live for a long time so you could just imagine a um, pool of these somewhere out there in Mount Pelier just adapting over the years maybe taking on more and more characteristics to be successful in its environment and then we in turn as humans just see these traits as being nothing more than a raccoon just by pure coincidence and then that's why it took on its name of the Coonigator that's why most researchers that looked into that notion of apparently an alligator mating with a reptile and producing this as as not happening not to mention the fact that I mean the stuff like that wouldn't work because the alligator aren't they cold-blooded if I'm mistaken one of those yeah, because they have to bask in the sun so much I'm trying to remember but either way the the raccoon no it would just end up as nothing more than a nice dinner plate when it comes to coming across an alligator rather than let's say as a mating partner but yes um, there's still to this very day a small group of witnesses who insist they have seen this creature they've seen it they swear by it and the, so that's why to this very day this very unique creature this Cooney game still is a legend of known sightings there in Montpelier but does anyone have any more information anything else they can share anything else that I might have skipped might have been important please post those comments below that'd be really great to hear anyone live near that area anyone know of any encounters anyone had any luck maybe trying to catch a sighting of this thing that would be a one of a kind if anyone has any document proof something like this oh my goodness you would make the news you would absolutely become viral news within a very short time period because of its unique traits so all right everybody thanks again as always take care